landscape, environment, weather, season, and moonlight. These pastimes were to us the most exquisite form of aesthetic expression, and we gave their details the tedious technical care, an important hour, a jarring totally destroy for us the ecstatic titillation which followed the exhumation of some ominous grinning secret of earth our quest for novel scenes and McQuack conditions was feverous and insatiable St. John was always the leader and he it was who led the way at last to that mocking spot which brought us our hideous, inevitable doom. By what malign fatality were we lured to that terrible Holland churchyard? I think it was the dark rumor and legendary tales of one buried for five centuries, who had himself been a ghoul in his time stolen a potent thing from a mighty Zepshula. I can recall the scene in these final moments, the, pair, the pale autumn moon over the graves casting long horrible shadows, the grotesque trees drooping to meet the neglected grass, the vast legions of strangely colossal bats that flew against the moon.
investigation revealed nothing, and we began to ascribe the occurrences to imagination alone. Then, terror came. On the night of September 24th, I heard a knock at my chamber door. Fancying it St. John's, I bade the knocker enter, but was answered only by a shrill laugh. There was no one in the corridor. When I aroused St. John from his sleep, he professed entire ignorance of the event. Four days later, whilst we were both in the hidden museum, there came a low, cautious scratching at the single door which led to the secret library staircase. Our alarm was now divided, for besides our fear of the unknown, we had always entertained a dread that our grisly collection might be discovered. Extinguishing all lights, we proceeded to the door and threw it open, whereupon we felt an unaccountable rush of air and heard as if receding. As I pronounced the last demonic sentence, I heard afar on the moor the faint baying of some gigantic hound. The moon was up, but I dared not to look. The moon was up, but I dared not to look, and when I saw I strolled on Victoria Embankment 
which is my only refuge from the unnamed and unnameable. Well, it sounds to me like he met his uh, end, or rather went crazy and chose his own end. I'm not, you know, I guess that's what he gets for uh, mercilessly killing a vulture. <laughs> actually